now we're going to look at conditional probability. And conditional probability is the probability or the chance of something happening knowing that something else happens. So for example, if I know that it rained, I'm certain that it rained, what's the chance that I will walk? Um, so that is conditional probability. Now, this can be either really, really easy or really, you know, a lot more challenging. It's not really challenging, but a lot more challenging. So the really, really, really easy version of the question is on the left side. If you know that it rains, so it's given that it rains, you know that, what's the probability that you will walk? Well, if you look on the tree, going up this branch, up this branch, if we know it, it becomes a certainty. So basically, at that point, uh, the probability that the person walks, that you walk, is just 0 0.6. No calculation necessary if you have the tree right in front of you. So if you know that it rains, the probability that you walk is given directly by the tree. It's 0 0.6. Now, if it were backwards, if the question asks you instead, what's the probability that it's rain given, instead given that you walked? So now, what's given is that you walked. You walked here, you walked here. Now you have to kind of look backwards and ask yourself, what's the probability that it's rained? Um, and that's a much more difficult question and much more involved question. The formula for that is given in your formula sheet and it is the probability of A given B is equal to the probability of A and B over the probability of B. So we have a lot of letters and symbols and stuff going on here. <clears throat> so let's talk about what they mean. That line means given. So the whole phrase means the probability of A given B. As you may recall from our last unit, that symbol means and. And you know the P of just means probability. So the probability, let's translate this here. The probability of uh, we have A given B. So what's given is that you walked, so rain, given, walked, let's just call that W, is equal to the probability of rain, let's call it R, and walk, all over the probability of walking, in general. So there's a bunch of stuff that we have to do now. Rain and walk, we already know from the last section that we did that rain and walk is 0 0.2 times 0 0.6. So at the top of our fraction, it's 0 0.2 times 0 0.6, and that will give us rain and walk. Let's do it where we have a little bit more space. So the probability of rain and walk we got from here, 0 0.2 times 0 0.6, 0 0.2 times 0 0.6. And the probability of walking, well, that can happen in two ways. It can happen either rain and walk or no rain and walk. And if you're not sure what is happening here, look back at the last video when the question was, uh, what's the probability of walking? So overall, the probability of walking is 0 0.2 times 0 0.6 plus 0 0.8 times 0 0.05. And when you type that, hold on, it's 0 0.05, and when you type that all into your calculator, your answer should be 0 0.75. So to quickly recap, 
the probability of rain, given that it you walked, rain, knowing that you walked, is equal to the probability of rain and walk, which we did here, rain and walk, over the probability of walking in general, which is right here, the probability of walking in general. And remember that the probability of walking in general is rain and walk, rain and walk, or rain, no rain and walk, rain and walk, or no rain and walk.